Welcome back, West Coast. You are listening to Long Beach Radio. And as you just heard during the morning report, we do have Michael Talitsky, who is uh, one of the candidates for Tofino's mayoral race in studio. We're going to be meeting various candidates uh, throughout the next couple of weeks as we lead up to the election. So I just want to say thank you, Mike, for coming in yeah, this morning. No, my, my pleasure. The, uh, the the experimental first one. That takes someone's, a lot of courage. Someone's got to be first, absolutely. So um, the, the questions I'm going to ask for this and for all of the other candidates are uh, the same kind of four basic questions, just to give people uh, kind of a rough outline of of who the people are that are running, the candidates, uh, the little bit of their background, um, what their primary concerns will be should they be elected and how we can get more information. So, uh, Mike, could you just open up with a little bit of your background, your uh, story here on the West Coast? Sure, um, yeah, and it's uh, my partner Marion and I and our son Liam uh, moved here in July of 2000, and it was a bit of a dream. We have uh, have a, a similar history to other people where we'd uh, come out to Long Beach for, for years, really since yeah. the, the late 70s. And uh, you know, and finally, we're looking for a community to move to. Mm-hmm. Chose to come to uh, to to Tofino, and moved here in 2000. And it was it was a fairly bold move because we neither of us had jobs here. Yeah. So we did the usual dance. Uh, I bounced around yeah. from uh, working for the Crab Bar or the Crab Bar Restaurant, yeah. uh, the Rain Coast Education Society as their program coordinator. Uh, you know, Tofino Sea Kayaking. Worked for the Chamber of Commerce for a number of years as mm-hmm. the uh, executive director. Uh, managed Mackenzie Beach Resort uh, yep. for a year and a half, and uh, yeah, now presently working for Tofino Bus. So, if you think of what defines us as people, it's our work and yeah, in many and, ways, yeah, and many ways. And then you know how we play. So we eventually came, we came out here to to kayak mainly, mm. and uh, yeah, so it's been a it's been a good place to be. I feel very connected with the community. Uh, you know, some of the things that we're happy with uh, bringing here, we, Marion and I started the uh, Tofino Lantern Festival yep. in 2001. So, you know, feel very connected and feel, you know, that we've been here, you know, for 11 years now. And, and have really, uh, you know, you find we were just talking about those, those key events, like where were you mm-hmm. when Pete DeVries, you know, Pete DeVries won the Coldwater Classic. And, you know, there's a number of events over time that really ground you. It's like putting down roots into the community, mm-hmm. and we feel we feel very very rooted here. Well, um, kind of moving into the next question, you uh, have been part of municipal council as well for nine years. Nine now? years, yeah. It's a funny thing. Eh? We we moved here and uh, had been here not even two years, and I was approached to you know to run for council. Yeah. And at first, wow, you know, if somebody. You know, you kind of get, uh, you know, taken back. And, yeah. and Why would somebody say that about me? I know. Who, me? What <laughs> yeah. have I got to offer? And uh, I was, you know, I was very honored and, and ran and uh, was elected in 2002. And, you know, didn't know the community that well. And, mm-hmm. and initially probably, uh, I wouldn't, you know, it was a learning process, mm-hmm. definitely the first term. And then over the successive terms have, have come to know the community better. And, you know, after nine years, just feel it's time now to... To, you know, for a new challenge. And, yeah, and so that's why you've chosen the mayoral candidacy this yeah, year? Yeah, you know, it's it's time for a new challenge. Uh, you know, I, I talked to John about it as well, John Fraser, mm-hmm. and, you know, he had, he had put in two terms as mayor, and and uh, he supported my decision to run. He said that if I ran for mayor that he'd uh, he'd step aside. So, you know, it felt, uh, it felt right at this time. All right, so... Um, Assuming now that you, uh, you are elected mayor for Tofino, what are your priorities going to be in your in your couple of years till 2014 you would be serving? Uh, well, I'd, I think I would continue to build on a lot of things that, that council has, has done. Uh, you know, council, they are, there are dysfunctions on council. There are dysfunctions in our community. And we've worked really hard at improving the tone mm-hmm. on council. Uh, you know, last uh, last election, only eight people ran for for six seats, mm-hmm. or seven people for six seats, yeah. and we felt, well, how can we, you know, how can we improve the tone? So I think council as a whole, as a body, we've worked towards that. Yeah. Uh, we've increased the stipend so that it, uh, you know, because it, it's a, it's a lot of hours. It's difficult to uh, to attract good people to mm-hmm. a job or to a responsibility that doesn't necessarily compensate them well yeah. yet. You know, that. we created the council office so that council has a, a place to go to. And, you know, and I think that's reflected in how many people have run this time. Mm-hmm. And uh, even in the stability of staff, I think, uh, you know, I think we have a really good core group of people right now on staff. And uh, so from that kind of logistic part of it, uh, you know, continue to build on that. Uh, I was looking through some past uh, uh 
literature on you know on my campaign or running in the past and mm-hmm. you know this infrastructure still remains the same you know how to keep uh, families in the community yeah. these same issues are repeated you know over time and uh so i think the the resort municipality funding mm-hmm. has uh has really helped us build um some of the infrastructure that would help keep mem- fa- uh, community yeah. members here and the improvements to the bike path, uh, the bike skills park that we're building right now, uh, the lighthouse trail, you know, washrooms at North Chesterman, uh, you know, a number of issues that uh, that RMI uh, funding has provided, yeah. I think. So we'll continue that. We have uh, just created a new strategic plan for the next five years. And, mm. you know, th- so that plan will continue. Uh, we need to finish our... Um, asset management plan Mm -hmm. so looking at you know and that's all boring kind of uh, if you really look at what at local government does it's (laughs) you know it's a lot lot of of pencil pushing it's a lot of policy and you know providing infrastructure and Mm -hmm. you know and around zoning and and property use and and uh, it's not you know that's not the sexy part but it's obviously really really important Mm -hmm. as well so uh, what are what are your sexy causes then? Are there things uh, a little higher profile, um, well more exotic f- things that you want to bring? The fun, up? you know, the fun parts, and you know that really is, uh, and and I think by becoming a resort municipality, and it's what I'd heard over time is, you know, we've seen all this development as a community, like what's in it for for community members themselves, and and uh, the RMI funding really allows, uh, you know, it, the funding is for extended stay, mm-hmm. but what we're looking for are projects that enhance uh, the, the community as well. Okay. And uh, so, you know, that's that's the sexy part. I'm looking forward to the bike <laughs> skills park. And yeah. I'm looking forward to that bathroom getting finished at North Chesterman. Bathroom at North Chesterman, be potentially better facility at South Chesterman. And, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, I just, and the other thing I think, you know, it's, the, what I'm really looking forward to is uh, hopefully being elected as mayor is just really pr- trying to provide leadership for our community. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it's the role of the mayor to, to uh, you know, to provide that leadership component uh, to really know the uh, the local government act and have that experience. Mm-hmm. I think it's really what I can draw from, and I think that's my strength. Yeah, based on the, I've, like you said, the learning curve. Of I've, yeah, yeah. My first term knew very little. Now after nine years, uh, you know, I know what... Uh, you know what, what how the local government act reads uh, mm-hmm. the community charter, how to use that information and now and, and provide guidance and, and leadership for council, uh, really help them uh, provide uh, or develop good policy and bylaws. Yeah, you know, and uh, yeah, it's all about good governance. All right. Well, we've been quite broad here in uh, what we've discussed. Um, about your uh, your interests, should you be elected and whatnot? Is there a way? Are there websites or is oh, there sure. email addresses for somebody if they have specific questions about various issues and they want to get directly to you? Or yeah, so like I that? have created uh, a Facebook page uh, for those uh, people that want to go on Facebook. It yeah. was I only started two weeks ago. Yeah. You know, to be honest, it uh, you got to do it these days. You I'm do. Afraid. It's yeah. it's a way of uh, of communicating with people. And so if you went in and looked at Michael Talitsky for mayor, yeah. That's my uh, my mayoral page, and then I've started a blog called beingtofino.com, okay. and it's a blog spot, so it's beingtofino.blogspot.com, okay. and uh, I've put up some stuff, uh, uh, some information, basically my background, yeah. uh, what I think it takes to be, uh, you know, uh, the mayor as far as being decisive, uh, showing mm-hmm. good leadership and so forth and pretty soon I'm gonna you know I'll, I'll start standing in front of the post office and <laughs> you know and putting a face yeah. you know to, to who I am and you know I think a lot of people know who I am in the community yeah. and, and already know how to find you yeah, well, yeah right. I'm around alright is there anything else you'd like to uh, like to say before we wrap no, things up no I just uh, thank you for, for doing this providing this opportunity and uh, anytime you've got a if you want to bring me back yeah. I'm, I'm more than willing and you know as far as communication I think moving forward mm-hmm. uh I would be if elected yeah. in here. It's a pitch, but I would to do a weekly mayor's do report or a, something. A weekly mayor's report and come down and talk to you and even have a phone in. Yeah, uh, you know, there's. I, f- I find the this town. It's amazing how fast information can mm-hmm. move, and I have a I have a feeling that uh, or a quote that sometimes other people know what I think before I do. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> it moves that fast, yeah. and uh, I think would be it would be really good to get ahead of the curve. Yeah. And radio is obviously this is you know when you go into most stores in Tofino now, which is great. Yeah. You know, it's uh, Long Beach Radio, so Long Beach Radio rocks. And, oh. uh, I'd love to come down and uh, 
and uh, provide interviews if elected. Well, that's a, that's a cool idea. I would like to I would like to do that with whomever we end up at, with in council in both communities. Um, I uh, was snooping on your Facebook page just a while ago and noticed sure. you're a Nettie Vetter fan. So I thought I'd, I'd finish with Nettie Vetter song. Sounds great. And uh, if you're listening at home or you missed this, uh, we've been talking with Michael Tlitsky, who is one of the uh, candidates for the Tofino mayoral race. The uh, election takes place on November 19th. And you'll be able to hear this interview again by going to our website, longbeachradio.ca, and clicking on the West Coast Votes link. I'll have it posted there in a few minutes. And if you are another candidate in the election, uh, either in Tofino, Euclid, or another one of the communities around here, please get in touch. I'd be happy to have a similar chat uh, with all of you. Uh, here we go, Eddie Vedder's Hard Sun, and we'll be back with the Surfer Report. Thanks for joining us, Mike. Yeah, no, thank you.